Okay, let's see if... Maybe... They're done talking after... A full day and a half now? Hey. Although, to be fair, I suspect it would take a pretty long time if I was going to catch up with someone from that long ago. Not that I've got really anyone to catch up with, but, you know. Where's... Huh. That's interesting. Oh, there he is. Hey, Marcus. So you defeated Alduin and saved Skyrim. There will be songs written for you for years, friend. Yeah, well... You said to come back in a while, and it's been a while. Ah, yes, we've been waiting for you. Now that you're here, we have a matter of grave importance to discuss with you. So you really think this nonsensical plan of yours will work, Val? Janice, it has to work. We have no choice. Now then. What's going on? Uh, hello. Who's this? I have no idea. Reporting as ordered, sir. Good. That armor looks good on you, too. <laughs> well, it itches. And it stinks. It's got a dead man in it. What do you expect? <laughs> so, now that we're all here... Valerius, would you like to fill in our friend on your plan? Uh, please? <laughs> Did you ever stop to wonder how my men and I came to this place? How or why? Uh... I, I don't know. I kind of assumed it was maybe to spy on the Thalmor? Or... I don't know. Your, your reasons are your own. I never really stopped to think about it. Well, yes. But that's not all of it. Up until a couple of weeks ago, we were still in Cyrodiil. And our sources began reporting on new Thalmor activity taking place south of here. Rumor was that they were turning an old fort into a prison for captured Talos worshippers. And I deemed the reports credible enough to investigate. I sent my best man, Korst, on the mission. He was ordered not to confront them, but to observe only. Unfortunately, he did not return, and I'm afraid something went very wrong. Oh, great. How long has he been missing? About two weeks. After one week went by, we'd started to fear the worst, so we mobilized and came here. Finding Korst is the main reason we're here. This fort gave us the perfect spot to rest, resupply, and prepare to find out what happened to him. So, we eliminated the bandits, took over the fort, tried to blend in and not draw attention to ourselves. Well, you did a good job. I kind of thought there were still bandits here. I'm pretty sure we all did. Marcus said you had a plan. Yes. Fortunately, the Imperials left everything behind when they abandoned this place. It looks like Ellen when herself was here. Can confirm. But what does this have to do with your plan? I need you to pose as an Imperial officer with orders to transfer Korst back to Ellenwen for interrogation. Legion prisoner transfer parties always travel in groups of three, so Falco and Sienna will be going with you. As you can see, they're already in Imperial uniform, and you must do the same if this has any chance of working. We found some officer's armor that should fit you, and Alton put a little enchantment on it for you. It's only worn by high-ranking officers, so it should help you carry a bit more influence. If you have any other powers of persuasion, this would be the time to use them. Perhaps between the two, it will be enough for this to work. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can pull off... To be fair, I could probably pull off an Imperial officer better than Yarnvita could, but, uh... <laughs> Anyone else thinking what a time to have Arden disappear on us? Hey, come on, he's got his own stuff to deal with. We don't know what, but... Right, so... What about the transfer order from Ellenwyn? While searching the fort, we found a communique from her own hand, and were able to forge a transfer order to give to the men at the prison. If the Thalmor officers question you, remind them you're a special envoy from the embassy. They had best comply. Hopefully it'll be enough. But if not, you may have to resort to the old-fashioned way of negotiating. I think I prefer the old-fashioned way. The prison's gonna be heavily guarded if I know anything from... Mm, <laughs> uh, the embassy. When were you at the embassy? 
long story? Yes, it certainly will be. And make no mistake, those Thalmor bastards are beyond brutal. And I've heard there's a particularly ruthless justice here named Arendelle who may be in charge there. If it's the Arendelle I know, you can be certain he will kill you on sight, so you must be careful. He can try. If Korst is alive, we'll bring him back. You have my word. Thank you, friend. You know, Marcus seems to be quite impressed with you. And well, if he trusts you, then I trust you. The prison is located south of here, on the road past Fort Newgrad, heading to the Cyrodiil border. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Here's your armor. Don't forget to put it on. Please, return as soon as you can. And good luck. Thanks. Oh, this should be fun. Mm-hmm. Stormcloaks wearing Imperial armor. How are you gonna pass off me and Mordgut? And Lydia? Pretty sure she'll be at that giveaway if, if the rest of us aren't already. Ah. Uh, well, it's a prisoner transfer, right? I guess, um... I... I don't know about this. Uh, okay, well, whatever. At least I've got my other stuff on me. Whatever. I'm not gonna put this on until we get closer to where we're going. Probably smart. And of course, I'm with the Dawn Guard, so maybe I can just be your bodyguard or something. Or maybe we could all be from the Dawn Guard, but within with different uniforms and except that she's wearing uh Right, I have no idea. <laughs> That's a good thought. Alright, Falco. And Sienna. You coming? Or Whatever. <laughs> we'll get there when we get what is there. It, friend? So what do you think Iron's up to? Honestly, I have no idea. Oh, right, he's working on Winterhold, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Honestly, I kind of did too. Okay, they are coming with us. Good. I probably should... How do we get to... Just up the road. Well, we know where Fort Nugrat is. Hey! Nice. I'm not sure if this plan is going to work. Honestly. <laughs> what, between the... Uh, the tagalongs and... The fact that... You don't exactly seem like an Imperial officer? Uh, yeah. Precisely. And while I would leave the three of you behind... I'm not sure I trust Falco and Sienna. Hey, I'm kinda with you. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, but... I'm with you. Which way? Doesn't really matter. I'll go up this way anyway. But yeah, that and the fact that Skyrim is now pretty much exclusively controlled by Stormcloaks. It's like, where are we transferring prisoners to exactly? <laughs> Seems quiet. Seems a little too quiet, don't you think? Eh! Maybe a little. Okay! 
Okay. Uh, nobody engage. Oh. Oh, we're not with them. Okay. So this is going to be fun. That'll be the fort there. I think. Yep. Cool. How do I look? Completely uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that about sums it up. What the heck is this? Give me a second, this could be useful. I don't know what's in there, but... Oh, that... Uh... I think that might be Serpent's Trail. How do you know what that place is? Well, you know... Mom and I travelled around Cyril for a while before we went back to Morrowind, and, uh... Learned a lot. That place is usually uh, crawling with bandits, so... Let's not. Good plan. <laughs> Goes right under the fort. That's funny. I wonder if they know they've built a fortress on top of a bandit tunnel thing. Okay, here goes nothing. Or something. You think they'll recognize me? Uh, why would they recognize you? Besides being dragonborn and all that. No reason. Who are you? And what do you want? Uh, we're the prisoner transfer. Uh, to cell block 1138 in the embassy. Here are your orders. What? We'll see about this. I haven't been notified of any such orders. I'll have to clear this with my superior. Wait here. Of course. Sienna. Oh, there's Sienna. Something tells me this isn't going to go well. Oh, my lord, there is an envoy here who appears to have orders for a prisoner transfer from Elenwyn herself. What should I do? Hmm, this looks in order. But I'll handle this. Come with me. Get your armor ready. Well, it's ready. I'm sorry. I haven't been given any orders concerning any transfer. I'm not able to release the prisoner at this time. Alright, I can see this, uh... This isn't going well. You, you really don't know what you're dealing with here. You're going to release the prisoner. Or else. Or what? You think you can intimidate me? I'm a Thalmo Justicia, and I am not intimidated easily. Certain people at the Embassy might not appreciate your lack of cooperation. Do you take me for a fool? You don't think I can sniff out a spy when I see one. We're going to have a lot of fun with you downstairs. Is someone there? Yeah, no. Ah! That's a bad idea. Fools! Oop, sorry. You're fine. Nice. You can take the two of us. Well, there's six of us, and the answer is no. No, they can't. This went about as well as the Embassy did, honestly. You're gonna have to tell us what happened at the Embassy at some point. You realize this, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not good at infiltrations, we'll put it that way. <laughs> Great. Oh. Damn it. Someone has a key somewhere. Uh, probably... That one right there. Never mind. Six soldiers versus an entire fort full of Thalmor. Who's gonna win? Probably us. You have any idea where you're going? Is someone there? Not a clue. Don't get in my way. That'll work. That was kind of impressive. Ah, Yarn Vita, you scared me. Sorry. What the? Huh. What are you thinking? Loot the place? Maybe. I'm trying to get a sense for how well equipped they are. Interesting. These are all empty. They don't appear to be all that... ...situated for doing something... ...bad? You mean like invading Skyrim or something? Pretty much. Or any type of holding of this particular fort. Oh. Oh, I see. Wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, you're not an idiot. You're just looking around, pretty much. of Ha 2. History or Mirth Volume 2. Dry oh, this is... This is about Val. Who wrote this? Altan Bar Khalil. I'll tell you, my bad. Uh, can well, we've got a job to do. Right, sorry. Just reading up on our friend. Did anyone else think that? Whoa. Those are some spells. Anyone here much of a caster? Uh. No, I think you're the casteriest person here. Did we go up? That's where we came from, right? Or is it? Yes it is. Okay. Oop, don't mind me. Just making sure we've covered all of our bases. How did he not see us come through? It's me. I don't think so. That? That was cool. Huh? 
That works. Hey, narrow hallways. Not very good for people with two-handed weapons. No kidding. Oh. Take potions before we go. Oh, so this is where they're keeping all of their... stuff. You can come through here. We've got a prisoner to rescue. Right. And since it's the Thalmor... Huh? We'll want to make sure we're not too late. Who knows what they'll do to him. Eh, I know someone who might. Uh, the answer is not good things. Ooh, you're pretty tough. Sadly for you, I'm a little tougher. Oh, hi. I can't shout in here. You're the justice here. And you're a bitch. I've got him. Thanks, Gren. Who's this? Okay. And you must be coursed. Please, get me down from here. Release the shackles. Coursed. Thank hey, you. there we go. Uh, let me... Let me see if I can walk. So... So dizzy. Uh, uh, so... So weak. Can't... Can't walk. Uh. Hang on, Horse. I'll have you as good as new in a second. Falco. Yes. That's much better now, Sienna. Thank you. Falco? Sienna? What are you doing here? Valeria sent us to find you and bring you home. Did you think we would let you rot in here? No, not all of them. Our new friend here is... quite a fighter. Yes. Who is this with you? I've never seen her before. A traveler and a new friend of Marcus Janus. Of course, you won't believe it. Marcus is in Skyrim. Marcus Janus in Skyrim? You must be drinking too much meat again, Farco. No, it's true. And he's back in Helgen with Valerius. Helgen? I bet Valerius never saw that one come in. <laughs> Why is Marcus here? <laughs> I'm not sure, but something about rebuilding Helgen, I think. Of course, we can talk about that later. We need to go. Yes, let's get out of here before any more of those Dalmor maggots show up. Well, you can't travel like that. Is your gear around here anywhere? Yes. I believe they put it in this chest over there. Let me see. Mm. Yes, there it is. Ugh, that's much better. Perhaps our new friend here will lead the way. We will up. be right behind There's you. There's always a good moment between when a foe sees you and when they're close enough to hit you. <laughs> okay. We've got... We've got Korst, we've got everyone. Now we get the heck out. Hey, sounds like a good idea. What the? Ugh. Hey, let's uh, please get out of here. Sure. Are there any more prisoners? Uh, don't think so. I don't... Right, we're among company. What are you... I don't smell any. I forgot about that for the third time. It uh, takes some getting used to. It's fine. Okay. 
Okay. Now I've got to figure out how to get out. That's how, right? I, I don't know. I've got about as good of a sense of direction as you do. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Nothing. Oh, hello. How did... I don't want to know. Actually, we probably could use that gold. Just saying. I have no qualms about stealing from Thalmor. I'm pretty sure none of us do. Also, it's good to meet you, Korst. Name's Yarnvida. I'm the harbinger of the companions. What a way to introduce yourself. He's a Nord? I think he knows roughly who we are. I'll leave that to him. I'm lost again. No, I'm not. I'm not as lost as I thought I was. Hey, look at this. We've got the whole brigade. <laughs> Fun. Should we do anything about the bodies? I say let them rot. What? I don't like Thalmor, okay? Fair enough. Okay. And now I've got to figure out how to get back to Helgen. We got company? Oh, it's just bright. Let's get going before someone else shows up. Honestly, I'm not surprised that that prisoner transfer thing didn't work. Between there being way too many people and... Dragon! Well, I missed. I'm down here, you big... Ha! Well. That works. Just a little one. What is going on? Have you never seen me eat a dragon before? <laughs> uh, I don't believe so. That's... I've only ever seen that happen one other time. I wasn't with you. No. I have no idea what... I've got no idea. I've got no idea. I didn't know that's what... that was... I just... hmm. Okay, I'm very confused now. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, let's get going. Sorry about that. Uh, you coming? Are you serious? You've never seen her kill a dragon before? Ah, uh, no. I don't think so. If I have it kind of slipped my mind. Creepy. What, just dragons exploding into flames whenever I'm around? Hey, a little bit. A little bit creepy. Kinda cool though. Of course, do you keeping up? I 
if he is. I don't see him. Crap, did we lose Korst in the dragon fight? I hate backtracking. But, on the other hand... Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Close enough. Odd. There we go. I like being able to run. Where did we leave the dragon? There's the dragon. Where did we leave Korst? Okay, now we're both confused. Crap. I wonder if he went around the other way. Ah, uh, possibly. Come on, let's just go. here. I hope he made it here without us. I don't know how we managed to lose track of him and I have no idea where he went. Hey. And he kind of smells like Thalmor so I wouldn't be able to track him. Yeah, I imagine he would after spending so much time down there. That's not him, is it? Maybe it is. Or is it Balfring? Ah, uh, it's Balfring. Oh! There you are! Jeez. I was getting worried. Snuck in the back like a sneaky bastard. I didn't know Nords could sneak. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey Val, where's rebuild a town? <laughs> if it were anyone but Marcus, I'd say they were mad. I still say he's mad too. Hell, maybe we're all mad. Well, I know plenty of mad people if that's the case. But uh, we got we got Korst back. Never been a religious man myself, but people should be able to worship as they please, or not at all if they choose to. I like the way you think. Um, we got. We got Kors back. Shores bones. I see now why Marcus has spoken so highly of you. <laughs> Quite impressive. Now, let's see if we can find out what in the name of Akatosh is going on in that prison. Kors, thank the gods you're safe. But how in oblivion were you even captured? I don't know how they found me. It's like they knew exactly where I was hiding. I never had a chance to escape. Well, thanks to our new friend, you're okay now. Tell me what you learned. It's a prison, all right, and it's heavily guarded inside. Well, hmm? it was hmm? heavily guarded. Sorry. There are none alive in there now. The commandant was never there that I could tell. Did anyone mention where he was? I overheard the guards joking about him getting soft in their embassy and spending too much time with some whore from the Tormas Tavern, but that's all I could hear them say. Did you learn anything else? Well, I didn't think much of it at the time, but I overheard the guard talking about how many prisoners were coming and going from the prison. And I noticed several new prisoners abruptly get taken away while I was there, just like he said. And they were not tortured, beaten, or starved either. I guess they saved all of that for me. And wait. Yes, one group had a family, a woman and a small child, but he was not old enough to fight. The guard was joking about raping the woman, 
and selling the child to bandits as a slave. Could that be true? They are selling slaves? Yeah, I could. I hate well, Belmar so much. Well, certainly a lot to chew on. You alright? Excellent work, old Not friend. really. I'll check and see if any of my sources know about any of this. Thank you, Korst. You go get something to eat and some sleep. I need you well rested. Dismissed. You've done me a great service, friend. You saved his life, and for that I will never be able to repay you. Is there anything else you can add? to be almost as good with a sword and shield as I am. Sorry, I'm... I think that's about it. Course report was accurate. Did you hear anything about slaves? No. Or anything else for that matter. I could have done without hearing it, thanks. But the prison was huge and Course was the only prisoner that I could see. Yeah, I couldn't see anybody or hear anybody else. That is odd, isn't it? So it looks like the elves are up to no good. Huh. Where else to easily kidnap people than in Skyrim? All they have to say is that they're worshipping Talos. I'm sure many of these enforcers skulking about in Skyrim are under their command. Mm -hmm. I know you've had a long day and I won't keep you. We'll let you know when we have anything new. But please, check in with Marcus as soon as you can. Thank you again, my friend. Of course. Yeah, that figures. What? They're not allowed to worship- or they're not allowed to enforce the not being allowed to worship Talos thing anymore. So they're packing up their bags and scrambling. I don't know where they're taking anybody, but can't be here anymore. Yeah. More good, you're alright? Um... Mm. No, but I don't really know how to deal with it, so I'm just gonna be here, uh, silently panicking and, and kind of... Uh, just give me a bit, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll go talk to Marcus. Mm-hmm. Hey. So, uh... Dragon Ball. I always heard the legends in my childhood, but we always thought they were fairy tales. But they're true. <laughs> Valeria said you wanted to see me. I praise the Nine you came along. Your help thus far has been invaluable, but it's time to make some difficult choices. Oh, great. <laughs> Valerius and I have spoken at length about this, and we value your opinion. We need more guards I for the hold, as there's only a few of us right now. But is it true? We're vulnerable to attack from several fronts, especially from the entrance through the caves, as well as the two main gates. There is no possible way laborers and carpenters can begin their work if they're not able to do so safely. We need more guards. Sorry, I... Mm, Lydia's trying to cheer people up in the background and it's... We need more guards. That's what... Right? Okay. Uh, I didn't catch most of that. I... I am sorry. Uh... I mean, the war is over, but... The, uh, I feel like the storm cloaks are kind of spread thin at it. God, I'm tired. Sorry. I'd suggest maybe talking to the storm cloaks, but... I feel like... Ulfric is probably going to want to use them as guards around Skyrim in the towns and whatnot, so... I think really the only choice we have is to go around see if we see if there are any mercenaries that would like to volunteer or something. Because, I mean, with the war over, there should be plenty of people who... I don't know, people who are making some kind of profit off the war and don't have anything to... any... What I'm saying is... You probably get what I'm saying, and I kind of screwed it up, but... Did any of that make sense? Yes. In fact, we prefer to remain unaffected by any outside entanglements or alliances. Okay. Not that we necessarily have anything against either side in the Civil War. I mean, you're from... But we just think it would be best to remain an independent settlement. Yeah. No one to answer to, no one snooping into our business. And most of all, no damn politicians to pull our strings. 
And it seems the Jarl Falkreath is occupied in his own matters. So it's unlikely we'll have any worries from him. Besides, he's abandoned this place anyway. So the way we see it, it's ours to do with as we please. So yes, this is exactly what we were hoping for. Are you absolutely certain this is what you want? Well, I mean... It's not really that hard of a decision. The Stormcloaks are going to be taken up doing other Stormcloaky things, and... I mean, even though Skyrim is sort of controlled by Ulfric now, I... Considering how close Helgen is to the border of Cyrodiil, I think it's a good idea to have... something neutral-ish around. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> I hoped that's what you would say. In fact, I already had Patsy post some notices in a few of the inns here in Skyrim. Hmm. So far, he's made it to Whiterun, Solitude, Riften, Dawnstar, and Windhelm. But he says he doesn't care for carriages anymore, though. <laughs> Check around in those inns to see if our notices have produced any potential recruits. If you can find, oh, let's say, around five or six recruits, with the proper training from Korst, that should get us started. Have the recruits to gather in the courtyard. And when you're finished, report to Korst for further instructions. Good luck, and be safe. Thanks. We'll sleep on it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry! I uh, forgot you were- I didn't realize you were gonna turn- uh, Right. You feeling a little better? Yeah, I kinda needed a laugh. So, uh, thanks to Lydia for that, but... I hope one of you can remember all of the places that we're supposed to go, because all of that went in one of my ears and completely out the other. I'm so tired. <laughs> we should sleep. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. We're going back to Riverwood? Uh, might as well. I don't know if they have spare beds set up here. I don't really want to oppose. <laughs> I know that feeling. Is she okay? We're good? Yeah. I think so. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Sadia's story didn't seem to add up at all. Siding with the Alakir seemed like the right choice. Not relevant, but thanks. Oh. Hello! I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Uh... Sure. I apologize if I'm a little... scattered. I just wanted to introduce myself, mostly. I'm Sienna. There. Formal introduction over. I feel better now, don't you? I'm still a little tired, but... Hi. <laughs> you, uh... Good to meet you. Well, I like moonlit walks through the old ruins. Candlelit workshops and the feel of cold steel in my hand. You know, the same stuff as other women. I... That... Mmm... I... <clears throat> you right there? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I don't... I don't know things about women. Uh... Well, I've got no comment. Magic steel sounds sounds good, yeah. You do know I'm a Breton, don't you? We're known for our magic, even if I don't use it as much as I should. Uh, Sienna, I... You're wonderful, probably. It's good to meet you. I... It's tight. It's late. I'm tired. Um, we're going to Riverwood. We'll talk more later, okay? Hey, Kinoa. What? <laughs> Sorry. You've got yourself a fangirl, it looks like. Hello! I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Stinner's <sighs> great shiny balls. 